Okay. It's my second. It's one in the morning. Um, I was kind of done with work. <laughs> Still so behind. But, um, I think I was, I was just so excited to, um, I, um, I, I initially had invited him to Go spend the whole day, leave the city, but with work and, and just all the projects that are, you know, that I kind of put in the back burner. I, I, I'd been overworking and my arms were hurting and I tried to get back on it this morning, but I was just so excited um, to see him. And, um. And already having cut the day short because I had text him two days ago that it, I didn't make as much progress as I wanted and that I thought maybe just like dinner so we really I mean we had like other backup plans but we ended up just coming back here after dinner And it was nice. I mean, you know, I think I was, I was wide awake. And I think it's because I just had the lingering, like, you know, work, school. I hadn't even done the videos. That's what I was working on this morning because I just, I couldn't get focused to do my work. And, and I had already missed posting yesterday. I haven't even posted for today either. I'm just trying to finish up those videos and it's more of like ugh, <laughs> you know like just I think I just got triggered with the videos because I, I hadn't prepared them at all and I've been listening to them the last couple days and then it's just it they triggered me it's the part of um, the dream where I'm connecting with Ali and then I started so that dream that video is the last video episode 11 chapter 44 and then the beginning of the following videos where I'm talking about Noah and not realizing so so there was just that that it was just in the back burner but I was just more excited to see this person who's in front of me now just to hang out because I, I like his energy and there was something about I had planned I had planned I realized that I hadn't told him about I haven't told him about this person from my past I've told him about my ex. I've told him about the person that I've had an affair with. But I haven't told him about this other person. From my past. And and I, I kind of wanted to say something. And then one thing led to another. And then you already had fun. And, um, and I wondered, I wondered, so, you know, we're just friends with some benefits, right? And, and I'm not, you know, crossing, I, I'm, I have specific boundaries that I'm honoring for myself, not jumping all in. And he knows that he's okay with it. And, and he was honest about me, with me, about where he was at, and, you know, that he, dating, 
So I didn't, I didn't expect exclusivity of any kind, really. Not that it was intentional, I don't know. It, it just, I happened to ask. I just happened to ask how dating was going for him. And if he had met anybody interesting, right? Because I was curious. Really sincerely curious. And, and he made a comment that he just stopped doing that. He stopped dating. I was like, oh, okay. And, um, and then we were talking about just, you know, intimately, like, what we like. And I appreciate that he can talk about sex, like, comfortably, you know? I, I like that he knows what he likes. And he was asking me questions, and I was asking him questions, and... You know, all this, like, while we're cuddling and stuff, and just talking, and, you know. But I, I realized, as I was answering certain questions, like, I, I was struggling with how to answer them, because it was, like, there was a part of me that was struggling a little bit, because there was almost, like, this element of, like, future, uh, future planning I kind of and, and I I caught myself I caught myself with some of my answers and I was just like well you know if that would ever happen like or if we ever do that uh, yeah I'd be like when he would ask me certain questions about things that I would try be willing to and I told him I was honest I'm like I, I like to be creative and, and try things at least once so he was asking me certain questions of things I would be open to trying and or if I've ever done it and then I said no but I'd be open to trying it right and then maybe one day like there was just this futuristic type of talk that I caught myself engaging in and I, I, I was just caught off guard really and it I don't know, I guess it just, it threw me off a bit. I look confused. Not that it wasn't. It was just more of the, the future talk, I guess. And then, and then even, like, before we got, came back here, gave me a tour of just, you know, the different parts of the city and the different communities again. I've done that before. But then there were even questions of like, would you like to live here? You know, what what are your thoughts about this place? Like, I, I would like to live here. Would, and it, I, I think it was just innocent. It wasn't, there wasn't any intention behind it. But it, but it, it again, it was just more of this like, oh, <laughs> Like futurist to talk, and, and I was just like, "Well, yeah, I guess it's nice. It seems nice." And then I, I did tell him, like, I've moved around so many times. I can make any place my home. And then he talked about like going away for a few years. So, so I, I didn't think anything of it until we got into the bedroom and, and just, you know, talking about what we would, you know, want to try in the future. And, and that, that, I think that's where I was just like, whoa, like just the fact that I'm talking about it. Like, I mean, it's just kind of like unfolding naturally, but at the same time, it's, it's just, I just have to, Technically, we're still somewhere in the middle. 
right? We're just we're just fellow fellow travelers. <laughs> and that's what I wanted to tell him too. Like we're just fellow travelers. And um I mean I, I wasn't planning. It just it was just in my path. So anyways, I had planned to tell him today about that what I realized, right, was was my lesson with him and it's this element of making sure that I stay balanced, making sure that I can balance work, having fun, spending time with him, going, like just, just so that I can stay balanced, it, I think is, is what I'm, what he's teaching me, right, in terms of just navigating this friendship with benefits and, and just 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 stay balanced really and I, I wanted to share that awareness that I had of like the other three people in my life where it was there was always something that was off balance and, and so with him it's a little different because it's more of this navigating it and and then speaking up right like when there's a challenge and just really this element of putting into practice everything that I've learned, right? So I wanted to share that with him. And I was going to, but then we found out that someone vandalized his mural. And it was the, it happened to be the mural that uh, we met at, the, the one that caught my eye. And it was, it was really done like, why, why? And, and he was just like that. It was, he, it could tell it was bothering him. Of course, right? He put so much work into it. And it was just done in a way where it's just like, really? Like, why, why? And, and then to top it all off, like, we think it's tar. He said, he's like, he thinks it's tar. At least that's what the owner said, that they tried to take, wash it off, but it looks like it's tar. Like, why would someone do that to a beautiful mural in front of a school, you know? So it is. So I'm preparing the videos to post, to have something posted. And, and getting triggered and just trying to get through the month. May. Just trying to get through it. With all the busyness. I'll get through it. I will. I just want to record that. Awareness of like, oh snap. We're, we're talking future stuff here. Just innocently, right? It's just unfolding in that way. It's, I mean, it's probably nothing. It's probably nothing. I'm just, I can't overthink it, right? Just, Hi, my name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level, uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, 
uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey. Um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is you know, right? <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and, and be vulnerable, you know, with, with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth, we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were. And so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and you, that you find some type of truth for yourself or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.